Hello friends, very good morning. This is a builder rider of nice. Welcome to another vlog. Well, today I'm going to talk about uh, disc brake my bike. How to clean the disc brake if your disc brake has been failed. Come on guys, let us know about this topic. Let us start. First thing we have to open the cap near brake, disc brake. We have to remove the oil from the disc brake. Top of the disc brake and below of the disc. We have to open everything, every part of the disc brake. After this. We have to check the oil, we have to remove the piston in the top of this cap. We have to open the disc brake in the below direction. Already we have removed this cap from main pipe. And this is the brake. He is one of my friend, uh, his name is Joe, he is going to repair my bike. He has opened this brake set, removing all the parts one by one. This is the oil, it has been jammed for uh, two years of oil, is that. We have to remove all the parts of the disc brake totally. We have to remove the old oil. This is the oil guys. Look at this oil, how dirty it is. It has been uh, got solid. You can see. This is a rubber uh, grip. You can see this, this is oil, it has jammed inside the uh, piston. We have to clean the every part of this disc brake and we have to remove every part of this item. After this, we have to give it for uh, water wash to make it clean. I have to remove everything, see, I have removed this piston, that is a piston and that is a lock for the piston, here we can see how uh, the oil has been jammed so that we are uh, cleaning this thing, it has been, it has become like this. So now, uh, we are going to remove the cap near handle. We have to clean every part. We have to scratch that. Uh, Break. And now we are going for water wash. We are taking all the parts, every part of the disc brake kit, even screws, nuts, piston, and all. This piston has been gone, so let us bring a new one. I'll show you. So it has been damaged. 
Yes, guys, now we are in uh, water wash. We have already cleaned that all items with the water wash. Now we are uh, putting the air to dry it. Every part should be dried after water wash. So we are uh, putting the air for this thing. Every part should be dry, guys. We have to make it dry after the water wash. Every part, even screws, nuts, rubber, uh, totally kit. We have to dry it. We have to make it dry every part of this after uh, water wash okay color has been changed after water wash we are going to install it again have to put uh, that is a disc brake oil with that disc brake oil only we should uh, put it again every part one by one we have to adjust it, we have to put a little bit of grease too because all rubber should be freely mold. Not every part we have to grease, few parts, look at this, you can see in the video. Put the rubber, every part. Very nice work. My friend Joseph said you Joe. His name is Joseph. Yes, we have brought the new uh, disc brake pad. This is a new disc brake pad. This is the older one. This is new one. We are going to install new disc brake pad. goes inside this thing I have to put the rod again I have to put the clip I have to adjust it properly or else it won't work properly everything should be maintained properly here it is a piston look at yes guys this is a piston kit you can see we are going to remove it all the things are brought from the Bajaj showroom this thing Look at this piston, spring and all. Have to keep it properly. Have to put little bit oil in that piston. So that it goes freely inside. After this we have to make it tight with the clip. <coughs> we have to put the lock. Look at that lock. I have showed you before that lock we have to keep it inside and we have to press it that is the main thing main part of this disc brake and look at that inside we have kept it here also we should put a little bit of grease Here the brake lever, look at this, we have to put the rubber near the piston, that we have to uh, push the screw inside near the uh, lever, 
as usual you can see all the things and now we have to put to make it tight this thing is working really and we are going to insert the lever to the handle bar to fix the lever on the top of this handle after that we have to connect the cable for this rod here you can see we have to make it tight look at this next thing we are going to keep the disc we have to clean the disc after that going to insert disc kit for the shock absorbers we have to make it tight After that we have to give connection for this thing and uh, 70 to 80% of the work has been done in a proper manner yes it is finished almost done and still we have to put the oil that is the main thing too have to take one syringe have to suck it the uh, oil engine oil sorry uh, disc brake oil we have to insert that pipe for this thing I have to make it tighter, not too much, because oil should go from below the top of that handle. I have to push that pipe like this. After pushing it, I have to press the syringe like that. If we press the syringe like that, oil will enter to the liver in this cap in this thing after this we are going to remove that syringe I have to make it tight and uh, we have to put the rubber cap we have to remove the air inside if the air is stuck on inside we have to remove it like this and below you can see my friend Joe is making tight for that thing. We have to remove the air freely. After this, we are going to insert the cap again. If oil is low, we have to put it the oil again. After this, going to put the cap with the rubber. Oil should not come outside, it is called seal. Make a screw, make it tighter. Okay, guys, thanks for watching my video. God bless you and all. Be happy. If you like this video, please share it. And please subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.